Welcome to the Magento Connector demo brought to you by CNK Systems. Let's start by looking at the Magento homepage. Currently, this template and website are blank. This is the default template that comes with Magento. Next, I'll click on the Dashboard tab and then click on Products, where I can see catalogs and categories. Currently, the catalog page is blank, but will be populated soon. Next, I'll look at Categories, which is also blank, but soon we'll have a list of categories once they're defined in CounterPoint. Let's take a look at a CounterPoint Item Master and the steps that are necessary to populate items to the website. So I'll select an item, click on the e-commerce tab, and enable the e-commerce item switch. Next, I'll click on Edit Description on the HTML description line and enter text. This is the text that will appear on the website. We recommend using the HTML description because HTML tags can be used and will transfer to the website intact. But there are other description fields available from the CounterPoint Item Master record. The title of the product is on the description line. This description must be unique and is limited to 30 characters. On the description tab, we can see additional descriptions 1, 2, and 3, which can also be used to populate the text on the website. By default, the Price 1 field from the Item Master will communicate with the website. However, you can populate Price 2 and Price 3, or with the Advanced Pricing Purchase, populate up to six different prices. Mapping additional prices from CounterPoint to the web is a customization, but can be accomplished if there are different pricing for different groups of merchandise. To set up categories for the website, you'll need to go to Setup, E-commerce, Categories, and CounterPoint. Define categories, subcategories, and assign product to the respective categories or subcategories. Once the item categories and items have been set up in CounterPoint, it's time for the initial sync from CounterPoint to the website to upload items and images. Now that the initial sync is complete, let's take a look at the website. I'll click on the refresh button at the upper left, and now we can see our categories. You'll notice the categories look exactly as they appear in CounterPoint. The numbers in parentheses represents how many products are assigned to each category. Next, I'll click into the admin panel and on catalog. Let the page refresh, and I'll see a list of all the items listed on the website. Next, I'll click on the tab for the home page, which was blank before the sync, but now categories and dropdowns of sub subcategories appear. When I click on apparel and select men's apparel, the men's apparel page loads and I can choose a product from this page to get a closer look at the product, including color and size. So I'll choose the men's polo. Here's the men's polo. I can use a drop down to select color. And I can also use a drop down to select size. Next, I'll click on the Category Inventory tab and filter for a shirt. So in the filter, I'll type shirt and then click on Apply Filters. And again, I will get a list of all the items in that category. I can see here I have a large blue shirt and there are 11 on hand. Next, I'm going to return to CounterPoint and make an adjustment to the item so that you can see any modifications to an item will update the website. So under Inventory, Adjustments, Enter, I'll do a lookup for the item, press my Enter key a couple of times, 
go into the quantity line and access the matrix of color and size for this item. And I will add to the blue large a quantity of 20. Next, I'll click OK. Then I'll post the adjustment. In order for the changes to be communicated to the web, I'll need to do another sync. Now I'm running the sync manually, but for your website, the sync will be automated. Next, I'll return to the website, refresh the page again at the upper left, and once the page has refreshed, the items will reload. And if I look at my large blue shirt, the quantity has changed from 11 to 31. So any changes made to the item in counterpoint, such as price, quantity, descriptions, will be reflected after a website sync. The sync also detects current sales in counterpoint, including unposted sales, in order to keep quantitative information of the item fresh and up to date. Next, let's talk about order processing from the website. Looking at this page is an order being placed by Jill Jones. Jill is verifying her address is correct and verifying the items that she's purchased. Now Jill will place an order by clicking on the Place Order button. As an administrator, I can view orders in the system by clicking on Sales, and orders. And I'll need to re-sign into the Magento platform and click back on sales and then orders. And now I can see an order that has been placed on the website. Note under the ID column is the order number. This will be the same order number in counterpoint. Next I'll manually run the sync in order to download the order to counterpoint. Again, you can manually run a sync, but typically we set this up to be an automated process. Orders from the web are downloaded directly into point of sale in counterpoint and can be processed in touchscreen, ticket entry, or order management. Next, I'll demonstrate how to process an order in touchscreen ticket entry. First, I'll select a store, a station, and a drawer. You may have a dedicated web store, web station, and web drawer, but I'm going to process mine from the main. Once I get to the main screen of touchscreen ticket entry, I can click on More, Order Functions, and Process Orders. The most recent order will be displayed. Use the search feature to view other orders. I'll select the order, click OK, and click on the Release button. Once the order is released, I can view the order on the order screen and I can view subtotals, taxes, if any taxes were charged, and miscellaneous charges like shipping. In this example, there was no tax charged, but there was $100 shipping. Next, I'll click on Complete and review deposits and miscellaneous charges and any taxes. Once I click on OK, the order is now converted to a sale. The last step is to click on Complete again. Now the sale is complete. And optionally, I can email a receipt, print a gift receipt, or print a receipt or invoice. Once orders have been downloaded to CounterPoint and processed, a customer record is also automatically created from the order. So let's go take a look at that. I'll just close out of here and close out a point of sale. 
from the main menu, I'll click on Customers and Customers, perform a lookup for my customer, Jill. And there I see Jill Jones towards the bottom of this list. I'll select that record and click OK. And as you can see, the customer record has been automatically populated with information Jill Jones filled out on the web, including her address and email. Thanks for joining me for this demonstration of the Magento Web Connector. For additional information, please contact Sales at 888-476-7911, extension 2.